The movie begins in outer space, as an intergalactic superhero named Lightspeed blasts around in search of a dangerous alien monster. After several hours of flying, Lightspeed eventually reaches his destination and runs into the deviant target. The creature turns out to be a fearsome four-legged alien with six eyes and a row of ultra-sharp teeth. Wasting no time, the violent monster instantly charges at Lightspeed, but luckily, the experienced fighter ducks out the way as he narrowly dodges the attack. On regaining his composure, the skilled superhero retaliates by firing a surge of lightning at the alien. The electric attack stuns the monster, but it ultimately doesn't achieve much as the creature quickly recovers and once again charges at the superhero. A witty Lightspeed swiftly jumps out of the way and slides through the monster's back, which makes the savage alien even angrier. Seeing the fuming creature, Lightspeed decides to up his game and tries another attack. This time, the superhero leaps into the air and launches a high-pitched sonic strike, which proves to be more effective as it pushes the monster against a rock. Sadly, the sentient alien finds a way to maneuver the sonic attack as he curls into a ball and spins away from danger. Moments later, Lightspeed, who also happens to be a father of three, realizes the fight is taking longer than he initially anticipated. Not long after, he receives a call informing him that his toddler's daycare had closed. In light of this, the caring super dad summons his kids and carries them along while he battles. Using his powers, Lightspeed conjures several energy spears and latches them into the monster while simultaneously dodging its attacks. The furious alien retaliates with a tail swing, but fortunately Lightspeed counters right on time as he summons an energy bubble to block the strike. Tired of the constant back and forth, the superhero powers up and decides to take the monster down once and for all. A formidable Lightspeed swiftly conjures an energy surfboard and rides on it as he blasts the fleeing alien with several lightning strikes. After gaining the upper hand, the superhero jumps off the energy surfboard and fires it at the alien, thus causing it to fall and cling to the edge of a cliff. As the relentless monster tries to claw its way back, a lava geyser suddenly erupts from underneath it. The molten liquid instantly vaporizes the creature, thus killing it in the process. Seconds later, Dr. Arcanus, the evil mastermind that orchestrated the alien attack, appears in a spaceship. On arrival, the villainous boss threatens to harm Lightspeed's kids, which incites the superhero to shoot electric bolts at Arcanus's aircraft. Sadly, the attack proves ineffective as the mastermind escapes from the planet while vowing to take Lightspeed down. Once Arcanus leaves the scene, the concerned Lightspeed gets worried for his kids' safety and checks them into a full-time daycare as he heads in search for the evil mastermind. Later that day, Arcanus tracks the superhero's movements and discovers that he left his kids in a protected daycare. Learning this, the evil mastermind accompanied by his minion, Fleech, infiltrates the child facility and kidnaps Lightspeed's three kids, after which he returns to his ship. Once aboard, Arcanus discovers that each of the kids had inherited a specific set of their dad's superpowers. Titus, the first of the three toddlers, has super strength and sonic abilities. Xander, the second child, could conjure energy weapons like his father, while Kira, had a dormant electric and flight potential. Envious of their superpowers, Arcanus devises a plan to use an extraction gadget to steal the kids' abilities. The evil mastermind instantly instructs Fleece to set up the machine and assemble the toddlers. While he prepares for the procedure, the obedient subordinate swiftly follows his master's instructions. However, before the minion can accomplish this, the superpowered kids break out of their cage and enter a small pod as they depart from the villain ship. Right as the kids successfully enact their escape, we discover that the scenes we've seen thus far have actually been that of a video game. Seconds later, we're introduced to the movie's protagonist, Reed, a young teenage boy who had been navigating the console. As Reed tries continuing the virtual mission, the young gamer gets a warning contract asking if he'd like to proceed to the next level. Assuming the warning to be a routine game protocol, Reed agrees to it which prompts Lightspeed's kids to enter an intergalactic portal. However, before the gamer can proceed with his mission, he suddenly gets interrupted by the sound of his doorbell. Reed quickly goes to check who's at the door and finds Melanie, his classmate and project partner waiting for him. A welcoming Reed invites her in as she gets into prepping for their group project. After drawing up a comprehensive schedule, Melanie excuses herself and goes to use the bathroom. While she's away, Reed shockingly discovers Lightspeed's kids in his house. The gamer is instantly taken aback by this and tries to figure out how they got there. Moments later, a confused Reed recalls the warning contract he signed in the game right before the kids entered the portal. Almost immediately, the teenage boy realizes that the game was actually not fiction, as he previously believed, but was in fact a real-life illustration of another galaxy. Before Reed can wrap his head around the bizarre event, Melanie returns from the bathroom and is stunned to find three random babies in the house. Confused, she questions Reed about it, prompting the gamer to reveal that they're characters from his console. Naturally, Melanie doesn't believe him and feels insulted by the outlandish explanation as she prepares to leave. 
However, before she completely exits the house, Titus launches his sonic power which causes a total blackout in the area. Seeing this, Melanie eventually believes Reed and helps him take care of the kids all through the night. The next morning, the duo finds a high-tech communication device on Kira and uses it to contact the toddler's dad. The worried teenager informs Lightspeed of the recent events and asks that he come over to pick up his kids. A relieved Lightspeed thanks the duo for their help thus far, but warns them to leave the area as Dr. Arcanus is most likely on his way to capture the toddlers. After delivering the warning, the resourceful superhero tries to trace the call signal to pinpoint their exact location. However, before he can finish this, a playful Titus unintentionally smashes the communication device. Reed and Melanie are devastated by this, but ultimately decide to follow Lightspeed's plan while they figure out a way to recover the signal. Without hesitating, the duo swiftly loads Reed's car with a trunk full of essentials and leave the house as they drive away with the kids. Meanwhile, back at Arcanus' spaceship, the evil mastermind eventually learns of the kids' escape and goes after them. Using the same portal, the villainous doctor arrives on Earth and sends a bunch of drones in search of the escaped toddlers. Seconds later, Arcanus, led by the tracking drones, arrives at Reed's residence and finds the place in a mess. The evil mastermind instantly realizes that the super babies were once there and preps himself to go after them. In the following scene, the teenage duo, alongside Lightspeed's kids, sets camp outside the city as they hide from the villainous doctor. During this time, Melanie, who happens to be an excellent science student, finds a way to repair the damaged communication device. Sadly, despite being fixed, the gadget refuses to turn on as it needs a high-power energy source to reactivate it. Later that day, Reed tries to keep the babies occupied by playing games with them. However, his kind gesture takes an unexpected turn as he scares Xander, prompting the toddler to use his powers. A frightened Xander conjures a small, duck-shaped car and uses it to speed off to a busy highway. Concerned, the rest of the group returns to their car and swiftly chases after him. They eventually catch up to the super baby but spot a speeding truck dangerously approaching him. Luckily, Xander uses his powers to conjure a cute but sturdy teddy bear to stop and redirect the truck. Sadly, the vehicle falls off the road but thanks to Reed's help, the driver is saved. Right as all danger is averted, the group is surrounded by US military. It turns out that the forces were alerted by the kids' escape pod entering into their airspace. Thus, they've been tracking the group ever since and search for the foreign creatures. The military troops immediately take the alien kids into custody and proceed to question the guarding teenage duo. However, before the special forces can take any decisive action, Dr. Arcanus arrives at the scene and takes all the soldiers out with a stun gun, after which he kidnaps the super babies and takes them to his spaceship. Moments later, Reed and Melanie discover that Arcanus had raided the base. Together, the duo steals a NASA walkie-talkie which is connected to a powerful satellite and uses the device to power up their communication gear. Wasting no time, the Teen Guardians immediately get on a motorbike and chase after Dr. Arcanus while contacting Lightspeed as they navigate the ensuing traffic. Luckily, they eventually reach the superhero, allowing him to successfully pinpoint their exact location as he begins heading for Earth. While Lightspeed makes his way to them, the teenage duo decides to get on Dr. Arcanus' spaceship to stall his evil plan. The pursuing partners arrive in time as they spot the aircraft taking off into outer space. In a desperate attempt, Reed, alongside Melanie, drives their bike off a cliff as they jump and latch onto the spaceship. Meanwhile, in the heart of the aircraft, Dr. Arcanus, with the help of his minion Fleech, begins the process of extracting the kids' powers. Attaching a transmitter to his neck, the evil mastermind enters a cocoon and siphons the superpowers. However, this doesn't last long as the teen duo arrives to interfere with the process. Reed finds a blast gun and shoots at the control center, causing the ship to crash from the sky. While the aircraft lands, Melanie also finds the kids and rescues them, as the group reunites and collectively escapes on a space pod. Once the master ship lands on Earth, the US military arrives on the scene as they prepare to arrest Dr. Arcanus. However, the incoming troops are quickly overwhelmed as they soon discover that the devious mastermind had successfully gained superpowers. The evil overlord confronts the soldiers and launches his army of drones at them as a fierce battle ensues. Using his newfound superpowers, Arcanus launches an energy blast which takes down a number of military tanks, after which he enlarges his body size to a giant mass as he conjures an energy launcher to shoot high-powered blasts at the soldiers. Overwhelmed by the ensuing attacks, the US troops instantly retreat as they prepare to surrender to the Dark Overlord. After gaining control of the battlefield, a giant-sized Arcanus spots Reed and instantly seizes him as he violently squeezes the young boy. Seeing Reed in danger, Kira activates her dormant powers and shoots lasers from her eyes, which stuns the powerful villain. Seconds later, she gains the ability to fly and fire a surge of electric blasts at the evil doctor. This forces Arcanus to drop Reed as Titus, who had transformed to a giant, saves him. Together, the super babies join forces with the US troops and assist them in taking down several drones. With their help, 
The tide of the battle instantly changes as the military gains the upper hand. As the battle ensues, Reed notices the transmitter on Arcanus' neck and infers that it is the source of his powers. Learning this, the Master Gamer informs Kira of the device and asks her to dislodge it from the Overlord. Armed with this knowledge, Kira, alongside her brothers, overwhelms Arcanus with a series of coordinated attacks, thus causing him to fall to the ground as Kira retrieves the transmitter. Once the device is dislodged, Reed immediately destroys it, which prompts the devious mastermind to lose all his powers as he cowers in defeat. A minute later, Lightspeed arrives at the scene and enthusiastically reunites with his kids. The relieved father profusely thanks Reed and Melanie for their help thus far as he commends them for their bravery. The movie ends with the Super Family saying their goodbyes as they finally return to the game world where they rightfully belong. And that's a wrap for this animation's recap. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like and comment.